Hi friends, today we are going to talk about uh, vendor invoice management, the architecture. Okay, this is very important because lots of time I see people asking questions about something. This, if you are, if you can understand, this is something related with Vim 7.5 that is available in S4HANA as well as uh, SAP, ECC, and this is the older version. So I'll explain some of this. So. If you understand this process, it would be easier to understand the rest of them. Okay, not that you have to understand the technicalities and all those things. So, <clears throat> so in the Vim 7.5, you have the image scan, okay, and then you have Ariba network integration and electronic device uh, invoices, okay. So the image scan always sends an invoice and it gets OCR, okay. So you have uh, image scan means you get some invoices and you scan it through enterprise scan and it or you do it through AWT or something. The image scan also includes cases where you get an email from the vendor and then it gets OCR. OCR is where it tries to read what is in the invoices, okay, and then tries to <coughs> match up the data and push it into SAP, okay. And then you have the BCC inbound, which can be a different type of uh, image, different type of OCR software, okay? Now, after that, it goes into document process. This part, any, anything which is deep blue are all, if you notice these and Veeam and BC components, these are more or less <coughs> in SAP, okay? So once the document processing happens, exception handling, Everything is in SAP and is controlled through SAP workflow. So workflow skill is very much important when you are doing a VIM implementation. So and invoice approval again, that's also there. So all these things are inside SAP. Now these are outside SAP, it means these are component add-on things and then you have the VIM reporting and then there is the content repository. So this, this portion is very important. After this, is the VIM 16.3, which is the normal version that most of them. So if you notice here, they have changed a little. So they have made it more clear. You have scan, which is the enterprise scan, and then you have email and then the upload. Then you have the Ariba network. You have an IDOC and then you have API XML. Like if you have something, an API from another system that is coming and you receive invoices from there. Okay. <clears throat> After this, all these things comes in, these are different avenues. And then you have the inbound channels that you configure based on this. Once this inbound channels is configured, then it hits document processing, which is inside SAP. From here, everything is SAP. Fury apps is also SAP, GUI workplace, these are also SAP, okay? So this is very important. Once you understand this process, it's pretty easy. Auto post and manual post, that's just, you know, posting in the Important thing is lots of time people say, oh, you know, <coughs> my Vim process is different from what is being done in Mido or in F360. That should be wrong completely because it should be a mirror image of what it is. And basically, basically every Vim document should create one uh, invoices, okay? Uh, if it is, if it goes through all the exception, it creates an accounting document in SAP. But if it's obsolete, it's not. It's just like a park invoice. But here, the invoice is having a different number instead of using an SAP number. Okay. So then, this is the another process where you have some invoice automation and those things that is there. So it's nothing, nothing rocket science. It's similar but you have the managed supplier invoices. So here, what is happening is managed supplier invoice is the new Fiori app that has some automation being done for Fiori also, for Vim also. Otherwise, it's more or less the same. Now, <clears throat> this is another thing that I would like to explain. This is this is also important. This is from Vim 6, 7.5. So let me push it out, okay. So you have the scan piece and then you have the ICC. Then you have this check room, central instance, Vim, and all those things. You can receive from different ERP system. Okay, so suppose you have bought a mother company from where you get some more invoices, and lots of times, you know, 
uh, you have a big company where you have multiple SFH instance. So then you can receive from different and different places can have different uh, rules, but it falls into the same central game system, which is the <coughs> which is another SAP system. Okay, so this is also important. So basically, what's most important thing is the invoice comes, the OCR is being done. The moment the invoice comes, it's inside SAP. The OCR portion is outside SAP. It feeds the data into SAP and then it creates a fake fake invoice document it's like a dummy invoice document and there it goes through all the exceptions so an exception can be uh, uh, an invoice has come and the vendor is marked for deletion so in this case it will go to the supplier maintenance team so that they can fix the vendor vendor or an invoice comes without a po then it should go to the contact person whether to give a correct po number or pay through non-po or an invoice comes that has a PO number but doesn't have a goods receipt or service entry sheet then it goes to the requisitioner or the person who will do the GR and all those things so all those things you can automate through a workflow okay and through a way workflow and it's really sophisticated but it's always good to have knowledge of workflow a BAP and a little and a functional okay don't think this is completely functional you need to know a BAP okay in order to be a name consultant okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day